Good evening. We are arriving at our last location and our last conversation. So we're after heading west. We are now in Clonmel. Um, we've been very fortunate to be welcomed here with Thomas and all the team. So I'd love to just say thanks to Hearns Hotel first for hosting us. Um, and I'd like to listen to your story in a sense mm -hmm. that you kick off maybe you say who you are your uh, general role as what you're doing with mental health but yeah. obviously you have your own story which we'll get to as well so mm. i'll hand it over to you sir okay well in regards mental health uh for me i've been involved with kind of health side of things for many years i've worked with the french Sudbury general hospital in regards fundraising for the hospital itself and then in 2015 i joined the consumer panel for mental health which was a panel that was there to discuss about service users, family members, carers and supporters, and how good it is to help promote positive mental health and also an influence to be a bridge between service user and the HSC themselves. Uh, that was in 2015. Yeah. Um, I joined that because I was tired of it. And in that time, we've done a number of things we've done. Uh, events like Under the Artists, we also took part in the Celtic Brewery Positive Mental Health Festival. That Even just to hold on that, you, as you mentioned earlier, actually have an event tonight, is that right? Even to give uh, that context? Tonight we had, but because of situations, we had to cancel that tonight. Well, that's no, generally what you're saying, like, mm -hmm. oh, that's unfortunate, but to be yeah, fair, it's going to happen next Wednesday. You're organising events yes. with themes such as art, music, and so on and so yeah. forth. That's correct, yeah. And uh, said, this is coming off the back of a Facebook page that I created. Yeah, which I saw is gets literally yeah. getting bigger and bigger by the minute. And yes. Even I saw some really nice messages directed at you it was, for yeah. uh, your work and the gratitude mm. reciprocating to you in a sense of all the work that you're doing. And yeah. Again, um, from our side, it's amazing to see. and it, That was lovely. And that was actually by one of the girls who will be speaking with you yeah. on Tuesday, the 3rd of December in the town hall. Just crossway and I'm delighted that we have that event because that in itself is just a people's it's people's building. Yeah. It's for the people of And again we have the mayor on board, he'll be emceeing the whole thing Garth Garth Aaron. Uh he'll be emceeing the whole lot. I said I'm just sitting back relaxing and you've done all the work. And just so. to give the context uh deep dive on that very quickly, like I have been challenging myself to get into motiv motivational say spaces. Mm. And unknown to myself, literally, we connected, uh, all just exploded. And Thomas has very kindly set up a night for three people to be speaking, who I'm one of. Mm -hmm. And again, as you said, the second uh, of those speakers actually came back to you yesterday and rebounded the gratitude back to you. So I think Should it's a case of all these networks are mm -hmm. really yeah. nice people that you it's flesh right. out into. And it's a case of mm -hmm. nearly, it becomes a space like today that you make so yeah. many new friends. Well, the thing about this, I knew Amory for a lot, a lot, I know Amory a long time, and Amory's battling her own demons and all that, like, like we yeah. all do. Yeah. And so I asked Amory to do it when she came on board, no problem. And then the third speaker then, on the night, it will be Paul Fallon. Mm -hmm. Paul is the mental health engagement officer that title could be wrong but it's something like that <laughs> for the HSC but Paul also has his own fantastic story to tell well, which I don't want to yeah, make yeah. viewers know anything like that but Paul has a fantastic story to tell so Paul's going to come at it from both the HSC side and his own fantastic Personal story well. and I know Paul a long time and when you hear the story you know, people you either cry or you just say yeah, wow I love it. probably like your own story and I can't read we all have our own story to tell and it's going to be it's just creating positivity but making people aware of it and all that to go from the diving board straight to the deep end, right? Mm. As you mentioned, everyone has their own story. You have a story. I have, yeah. So let's not jump too far ahead of ourselves and think other people have stories. Let's no. self-reflect here. Yeah. Do you mind just giving us uh, maybe what the story is about? And similar to myself, what I'm saying is mm. I decided to do a video to try and help inspire others. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that was a similar move by you. So like, well, where does that all go to you? Well, back in the story, kind of started back. So I said I was always kind of I've been volunteering for over twenty years, thirty six now, and up to two thousand seventeen, my mental health was oh, it's all just grand. Mm. And my mum passed away in two thousand seventeen. Sorry, yeah, uh, I saw that actually. Yeah. yeah, and that was down to cancer. And when that happened, then it's been uh, very tough. It was very tough, very tough time for the family because just previous to that. I lost my stepdad 
Jesus. in 2014 and I also lost my cousin in the same year, my very first cousin. Wow. Uh, so I lost him as well in the same Three year. pillars of support. Wow. Three pillars of support, yeah. And Not even that, just obviously they had their own roles as well. They had their own roles. Three friends. Yeah, well, with brothers, three family, so. uh, just like my mum, my stepdad and my cousin. And then in 2012, I asked my aunt who was also my godmother. So Jesus from 2012 Christ. up to 2017, four family members gone in the space of five years. It's wow. terrible, but things get on, things get on. Uh, so getting back to where I was in 2018, uh, mum died, we were living in the council house. Which is even the whole day, do you think mm. there was even signs of it before that? There were some signs there, but... It probably didn't hit for it, 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 itself. Yeah, it didn't yeah. hit, it didn't hit there like it was down the bottom, but I'd say that and it just doesn't. But you didn't even realise it. No, like, yeah, no yeah. I didn't realise it, but... I said I've been involved in the community and getting things so I was kind of kept going and all that. But so. again, like self directed my own story, like it was a case mm-hmm. of always out helping others but never even realising I needed help. So Yes, yeah, and the very same. The very same there in regards to that. So like it started in kind of 2017. Uh, I said man passed away. The council then looked for the house back. Jeez. And with personal cancer, four kids, everything's up in the air. We've got to get the name on the red book. So then it's after there that Seeking. So not alone did you have the loss to deal with, you had also the stability of your home yeah. thrown up there. Yeah. So it's like literally everything that you had gone. Gone. Yeah. And what happened then was I went down to do went down to the council just behind us here to do a succession of tenancy on the house. And lo and behold, couldn't be done. So they wanted the key back the week my mother died. Uh, and I just said, Duh. excuse me, I said, yeah. I said, excuse me. Said it's Christmas. So at least give me a fucking. So how long has happened at Christmas? Yeah. I was in the house on my own for Christmas. Uh, man gone. I, I'm lucky. I have I have a goat about to do all this every year. Go to my sister's for Christmas dinner. Both in the same. And then they look for the house back then. So we gave the house back in March. And with the house that I kind of started going downhill, uh, missing days out of work because of. Just feeling like total crap. Oh, sure, I know it's out. Yeah, and every sort of thing, any excuse, just want to stay in bed. Yeah, stay in bed, and just didn't want to go. Started kind of going down roads that I thought I'd never do. Uh, three times, went to take my own life. I can easily say I've done it, say not more. Mm. Uh, three times, not more, I'd say, yeah. And three times, maybe jump out in your head, but at the same time, think about it. Well, yeah, when you literally go down to, when you literally go down, to the river with a bag and tablets in hand. And the first time I'd done it, I heard voices saying, Don't do it, it's not trying to go. And to this day, I still say that I've seen a vision of my stepdad. And the person saying, Go back, it's not trying to dodge you And he, he and he just stand there smiling. Like, you know, the sure yeah, 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 it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. wide enough down at the top, so it comes straight. Here, it's very near the top at the moment. But yes, it is, but we would say not about that. Uh, but, um, that was kind of the thing, like that thing. So the third time, then uh, just been going on and on and on. What stopped at the second and third? Uh, time? Second, third time, just thinking like I had my phone put a charge and getting phone calls because since I didn't know what to do, I just panicked and just walked out of the house because uh, I said I'm living. I, so I said technically I'm homeless because yeah. I'm living between two of my siblings in regards to that. So kind of soul surfing and just said I had nothing that good luck. And with that then, they were out looking for me and all that, just panicked, just two or three o'clock in the morning, uh, for, only for the second third time. It was just thinking that like, I have three nephews and two nieces, mm. uh, saying look, they're there for the future. I know a single guy and mental health is a big thing within the LGBT community and I'm open oh, okay. and with that it's just just been on, on going. And then the job wasn't out because the job was very demanding although that I was in. But I was lucky that I was able to be referred from the services in work because we have a work counsellor. Mm. Referred me to Piet House. And yeah. with the help of Piet House, uh, I'm back to being kind of come around myself again. Yeah. Uh, you know yourself, you have good days, you have bad days. Mm. Good days, you have down zones. I said today, like being Tuesday, I was down, or sorry, being Friday, I was down in the water today. Uh, just having a chat on that with the lads. And it was just hard, but. Look, I'm over it. I sit here today. Well, I think there's a lot of things, like even a lot of conversations we've had today, and thank you for sharing that very, mm. very personal, deep memory. Yeah. 
Well, it is a memory in a sense, it's an event, or whatever mm. you want to call it. Like we've gone from conversations around suicide to grief, from mm. family members to personal stories. And to be honest, it's been one of the most striking days of my life to date because it's just been so insightful in a lot of ways, positive and negative. And I suppose when you're trying to go back to spinning the plates, you do it, yeah, you get back on the road and everything starts to move again. But at the same time, like I was even there last Friday, for example, and I had a trigger on the flight which sent me spiraling down. Like, yeah. uh, my death around times of suicide, um, yeah, as you say, similar with the news, it was a case of I stopped because of others and because I was only 29 when I had similar kind mm. of thing. Um, but at one point I actually um, was on my way after Piet House and actually left the country. I literally said, I am mm. out of here. So it's a case, I understand what you're saying, it's really yeah. tough and it can be really good, you know, you can get really mm. good days, but it's a case of, as you said, mental health is massive at the moment. I think focusing the energy on climbing out for a moment yourself, as you said, mm. the whole history here obviously there was a lot of support before we had yeah and i think now it's a case of similar to temporary it's just you nearly feel like not alone for just yourself but the town feels like it's been pulled from its own from its own well, like, services in a sense well not just as you said you know yourself at temporary town like we all one with one banner like and back in 2012 like we had the then labor minister uh captain lynch turn around and say like she drove st michael's mm. it was just coming around to be like being a password port and everything like it was building up to be good, I can turn around and say, look, silence, we're closing it. And that's what blood. My friend, as I said this to one, I even said it at, at a public at a public meeting that was there. If I to say that like, about a service that was not just good for the town of that it was good for the council area. Yeah. In a whole. Exactly. Like it's it, it's gone like we had forty nine beds unit all St. Michael's in South Tip and well, the same to Barry, not just South Barry. We go all to Barry. So this is good. we don't have one acute bit in the county. Like, if I needed, sir, if I needed to go through service in the morning, I got into that state. I'm supposed to be king. Hmm. I'm from Turtles up. They're in the quest to Innes, into there. So not only that, you only leave your own town. But even on the topic, like mm. I spent three weeks in Pat over the summer, and mm. like the services are phenomenal. Like when it actually is there as a service, to be able to get the support 24 7 and go to all the tools, if you will, all the different classes and all the different things you can do, as said, it, it breaks you yeah. from a cycle of like your cycles, if you will, and actually gives you that springboard to have those coping mechanisms to lead a life that you can deal with. But not on top of that, even be able to cope. I've entered a whole new threshold of life. I've never been as happy. Yeah, I'm saying it. I'm starting to come around, I'm starting to feel myself like, uh, since I left the job, lo and behold, I'm much happier myself. Yeah. And people see it. And I, get, I can feel that. Yeah. And getting back to the Facebook page that I set up like, that was done on a whim. Mm. That was just done on the back of, a, I, w- I won't say a gag, but a thing that I heard on Prince of Talent. Yeah. Between Simon, uh, between, si- between the four judges, between Simon Kelly and like, Dave Williams. They said, let's stop for two minutes. Let's have a chat about mental health. Because there's something coming up to the mental health period for us. I think it was something to do with possible work about mental health day. That uh, they got something about that they were talking about it. And I said, so they kind of kind of break uh, they talk about mental health for two minutes. And I kind of like my mind starts racing and I hear a good thing like this. Yeah. Yes, that'd be a good thing for a Facebook page. So I said, let's get come out, get talking about mental health. So that's on the back of that. Like Unbelievable. It's too much. Not even like oh, too much. Or set yeah. things on. You're spinning plates all over the place on the positive But apart from, but apart from that, like, it's, we'll take it back to the pay. Like, it's over two months. And like, as of today, there's a th- 1,040 members. Unbelievable. Like, it's unreal. Like, and you know yourself, you've probably seen, you, you show your own story, yeah. my story, the stories on it, and the positivity that's come out of it. Oh, the booming effect. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's just, it's amazing. And like, I'm not doing my own talk, but it's, no, it's just. You've achieved mm. a feat that's not, that's that's said, a thousand people yeah. are talking yeah. because of you. Mm. As I said, like, it doesn't matter if 10 people use it, 1,000 people use it. It's there for people. Like, we're not all trained in Yeah, but in one things, thing we heard yesterday it's for all each other. it takes is one person yeah. to change. Mm. And as I said, getting back to your reflection there on the comment that was put on Facebook. Like, as I said, like, and I do, I don't do it for self gain like that. Yeah. I do it headquarters. And like I said, even going through my worst stages, I'm still out there. 
right there this year we've done the Clamour Reynolds walk mm. from the town hall here lay a lovely wreath down below it's a, at the river shore at the Cassius Bridge it's in blood now and with that uh, we just it should just get people out get like 300 people at it Unbelievable. and that was around World Suicide Prevention Day and we asked the mayor could we use the town hall across the way just as kind of the backdrop yeah. as I said to you already it is the it is the people's assembly yeah. in Connell and it's lovely like, it's, it, it's a public building like, so it's lovely to see it again and he was so thrilled he said yeah he said, he said I've heard things done he said but I never heard it and at the end of it he just turned around and said wow and like he goes like he done he took like and he would be like thank I just didn't miss I actually went into the jail and said I'm not listening to this but I don't want to be thanked to the bush yeah, yeah. said it's all the things so, so like I said well, like, it's lovely to have feedback just, from people even tie this up on a knot mm. and to like as you said say this to you before you run away and us tonight <laughs> that we won't do that guys no what I'm saying is like from us like you've been an inspiration to me you've helped me already and as a case of mm. hopefully your story will inspire others yeah. but like to spin this back a second like the one resounding message I'm getting from this and the lessons obviously from life are in abundance but the main thing you do like most people do in their lives is help others if mm. they're that way inclined yeah but what you've done now I think I resonate with this a lot is you've nearly put two charging batteries together. You're looking after others and you're looking after yourself. Yeah. That's and that and that positive and negative two positives really to be fair. Yeah. yeah it's just true. thunderbolting you to places mm. you've never even thought of. And like even getting back to yourself. Yeah. Like I've been following your progress on Facebook and see if you're you're doing the very same thing. Yeah. And it's great to you and fair to you, like you're doing your November. See the yeah. one. And like your your and all the videos you've done, like in fair to you, like it's it's really sparing. And even when you've done the video the first night, the November coming out behind the bank, like yeah. that thing itself was just wow. Yeah. Was, that was it, it wasn't just like such a great thing. It was actually a great thing like to see it's behind the bank. This guy's gonna be funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I told like that's the point part so I like. Otherwise, but anyway. mm-hmm. So so we were like, no, like behind the bank like, and then just popped out. <laughs> to me that would that would just hit your soul. It's like you could have people just um, look very, like, very that. Yeah. turn around and say, Wow, he's behind the bank and he's going to be sorry. But it's the case of you know, the kids can't think, well, it was lovely, it's that thing. Yeah. No, but it's all going back to that imagination piece mm. of visualization, and I don't think we have too much time to go into that, but we can also yeah. continue these conversations in time. Oh, yeah. But it's the case of, I think the one message for both of us is maybe both of us before were hiding behind plants, if you will, or hi- mm. we were hiding yeah. in general, and now. Mm. We're able to finish and actually introduce ourselves as friends. Yes, as friends. So and listen, I will thank you so much again and, look, and wishing you all the best in our new venture together. Yeah, definitely. And I said, looking forward to the 3rd of December. Likewise. And turn off and you know myself, just get yeah, promote it. And I said, I'll have fun. When you came in just before we ended, just before we started, I was actually just in the middle of emailing Tim Lim <laughs> to get on the lads, to get, to get down. I must get on to Joe Price, well, but I'm to get rest. Just promote them because like, they've been very good to us. Yeah. Uh, in regards to my club, Bob Fan and Joe, I took my best and tip them. Like we have fantastic outstanding when it comes to social media. Not social media, it's like to the general media. And sport. Into very the sport out there is just fantastic. Fair juice to the newspapers, nothing down there. They're just fantastic. So, so, so look, hopefully we can make a difference. We will. And on that note, they'll say up to. Yeah, it's definitely up to. <laughs> good luck.